Hello guys, welcome to Runtime Solutions and welcome to Euclidean Geometry. Today we are looking at the area of triangles and by the end of this video you must have or you will have seen all these diagrams. Okay, so we are trying to cover this area, this concept, so that when we get to proportionality rules and similarity rules as well, that you don't struggle with these. Okay? So without any waste of time, let's look at them. So one thing we need to mention is one rule number one, or something that you should know, is that the height of a triangle is always a native to the chosen base. I will just choose any triangle let me reduce the size i'll just choose any triangle a b c if i choose my base to be ac let's say my base is ac my height will be this one here All right remember for a triangle height is always perpendicular to the base All right Height is always perpendicular to the base. Now, let me draw the very same triangle, A, B, C. And I'm going to choose my base to be, let's say, A, B. Where is my height? Remember, height is always perpendicular to... Height is always perpendicular to base, right? And I think I don't have to do a third one. You have an idea now, right? So we are okay with this, that the height of a triangle is always relative to the chosen base, okay? It doesn't mean that your height must always be like this, where it's, um, let me say, perpendicular to the ground, okay? Or perpendicular to what you deem to be the surface. It doesn't necessarily have to be like that, okay? All right, so I will add the third one as well. Um, a, B, C, and of course, here the base is, let's say, B, C. Where will the height be? It'll be this one here, right? Can you see that? So now we are okay with this rule here that the height of a triangle is only relative to the chosen base. So it is not that uh, the height of a triangle should always be like this, guys, okay? I hope you guys are happy now. All right. Now, the second rule is this. The second rule is this. Two triangles which share a common vertex have a common height. I'm going to show you an example. Let's say we have this two triangles. Um, to understand, I'm not going to draw them to scale, but yeah. This is my triangle. Okay, so let's say we have triangle A, B, C, and D. All right, let's say we have triangle A, B, C, and D. Now check this out. Remember, height is always perpendicular to the base. All right? Height is always perpendicular to the base. All right? Height is always perpendicular to the base. Now check this out. For triangle, for triangle ABC, right? For triangle ABC, I want to show you this area of triangle ABC. What is its area? It is half times, what is the base? BC. What is the height? It's H. Right now, for triangle, for triangle ABD, right? Which one is ABD? ABD. Can you see that? What is its area? Its half times. What is the base? BD times height. Can you guys see that? So remember that two triangles which share a common vertex have a common height. Okay, two triangles which share a common vertex have a common height. 
you can also say the same thing when it's drawn maybe i don't know let's try this one here and then if we also have another triangle here let's say a line that's perpendicular is this one here but let's say this this is the line that's perpendicular so um allow me to call it maybe m here x o p okay m x o p okay so when you find the areas as you can see the height is always common because the height is now perpendicular to the bases and it's from the vertex what is the vertex the vertex here is at angle x right so the area is the same i don't have to write area of triangle hmm, and mxo and area of triangle mxp no i don't have to you already have it here you have an idea now. okay so this is what is happening you will particularly find this useful when you do proportionality theorem when you prove that theorem okay all right perfect now we say triangles with equal heights have areas which are proportional to their bases so basically we're saying imagine imagine these guys here uh, imagine these two triangles they are uh, inside parallel lines let me try this and perhaps let me try this too okay i will i will assume that these two triangles are let me call them um okay a b c d e f okay so let's say these two triangles are rather these two lines are parallel so then you have the height here so you have the height here right remember when you have um height h what it means when the line when the lines are parallel it means this height it does not matter where you're looking at it for as long as it's perpendicular to this line here it will always be equal wherever you are as long as it's perpendicular you draw it perpendicular to this line even if you draw it here it will still be h even if you draw it here it will still be h all right so we're saying triangles with equal heights have areas which are proportional so let's look at area of triangle a b c what is it it is half remember area of a triangle is half base times high it is half times what is the base already we have said this is the height so it means the base must be b c times height what is the height h again we look at area of triangle d f what is it half what is the base base is always perpendicular to the height so it is e f multiplied by the height is h now the ratio of the ratio of the areas let's look at it area of triangle a b c over area of triangle d e f is equal to what is it half times b c times h or over half times e f times h now as you can see half will cancel with half h will cancel with h what are you left with you are left with b c over e f therefore what are we saying we are basically saying as you can see area of triangle a b c over area of triangle d e f is equal to b c over e f now remember this we said triangles with equal heights have areas which are proportional to their bases 
Can you see that? Yes. Areas of triangles with equal heights. Uh, triangles with equal heights have areas which are proportional to their bases. If at the numerator you took triangle ABC, on the right hand side you must take the base of triangle ABC, which is BC. Your denominator was triangle DEF. Denominator on the right must be the base of DEF, which is EF. Okay? Happy? Perfect. So you were able to prove this. Now let's get to the fourth one. Now we are saying triangles with equal bases between same parallel lines are equal in area. Mm. Triangles with equal bases. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. And then I'm going to try maybe. Yep. Yeah. Let's try this. Okay. So this is A, A, C, D. Now, something that we need to mention is that the lines are parallel. Okay. Now, if the lines are parallel, it means the height will be the same. Okay. Remember, we said triangles with equal bases. As you can see, you have triangle ABC and you also have triangle um, DBC. When you look at them, their bases are the same because they share a base BC. Okay? They are between parallel lines. So let's see if their areas are the same. Let's see. Area of triangle ABC is equal to half base times height. What is the base? The base is BC. Remember, triangle ABC is this one here. ABC is this one here. Right? So it is half times BC times height. What is the height? We call it H. Okay. Perfect. Now, what is area of triangle DBC? What is it? Still half base times height. What is the base? It's still BC. Can you see that? It's BC. What is the height? The height is H. Therefore, we can conclude, as you can see, they are the same. Therefore, area of triangle A, B, C is equal to area of triangle D, B, C. Can you see that? Now, remember, we said triangles with equal bases between same parallel lines are equal in areas. Okay, so triangles with equal bases between parallel lines are equal in area. Happy? Perfect. Now, the fifth thing or the fifth condition that we're looking at is that triangles on this, sorry, triangles of the same base and equal in area lie between parallel lines. So remember, when we spoke of parallel lines, but this time around, we're not going to prove parallel lines, or rather, we're not going to add parallel lines. We must prove that indeed these are parallel lines. Okay, we are going to prove that indeed these are parallel lines. Okay, we're going to prove that indeed these are parallel lines. So let's try A, B, C, and of course D. Remember, triangles on the same side of the same base and equal in area lie between parallel lines. So let's say this one here, we will call it height 1. This one here, we will call it height 2. I understand it's not necessary, but it's the same. But remember, it's okay to say height 1 and height 2 because we are not giving any information uh, regarding whether these lines are parallel, right? So the only information we have is that these are triangles on the same side of the same base, as you can see, and equal in area. If they say equal in area, oh boy. So let's see. Area of triangle A, B, C. What is it? Have base times height. This is A, B, C. This is the triangle. What is it? It's half times. What is the base? The base is B, 
BC. What is the height? The height is H1. Can you see it? Perfect. Now let's go to area of triangle DBC. DBC. Again, it's still half base time side. What is the base? The base is BC again. But what is the height? It's HT. Can you see that? The height for DBC is H2. However, we have said that area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle DBC. All right? We said triangles on the same side of the same base and equal in area. Remember, we are saying now their areas are equal. So we must prove if indeed they lie between parallel lines. So if they are equal, what is the area of triangle ABC? It is half times BC times H sub 1. Of course, what is area of DBC, triangle DBC? It is half times BC times H2. As you can see, we have half BC on both sides, so we can divide by half BC. What are we left with? We are left with H1 equals H2. If these heights are equal, do you know what it means? Remember, these are lines that are inside some lines, right? They are inside some lines, and the distance between this line and this line here at this point is equal to the distance between this line and this line at this point. That can only happen when the lines are parallel. When the lines are parallel, therefore we can say AD, but we can say AD is parallel to PC. Indeed, triangles on the same side of the same base and equal in area lie between parallel lines. We were able to prove that. Can you see that? All right. So with that being said, it's a wrap and see you next time. Bye-bye.